Alright, this is Coda the Triceratops. It is a ride on toy by Play School. Um, it has a fabric outer covering. It's probably about between three and four foot long and it probably stands over two feet high. Uh, it'll hold up to 60 pounds. It is in full working order. It's very clean. Um, it's just an excellent used condition. My daughter's going to help me um, uh, demonstrate all of the stuff for you. Um, it does not have the leaf. did originally come with a leaf for it to eat. does not have the leaf. It's been lost. And she's going to go ahead and turn it on. It does have a couple different modes. It's got like music mode and we'll demonstrate a couple different things. It is fully it's animated and it does have sensors all over. As like this. See, <laughs> you scratch his nose and he actually sneezes. It's kind of cute. Um, if you touch his three horns um, she's scratching his chin, and he likes that. He reacts to scratching his chin. Um, his three horns play music. This if you touch mode. them, uh, do what? This is dinosaur mode. Oh, if it does it in this mode, it doesn't. Yeah. Does it play music? Touch his horns. Okay. Well, in this mode. The horns don't play music. It depends on what setting you have it on. It has music and dinosaur mode. And the tail also moves. She's going to get on, and we're going to see. It's actually spring loaded, and you can bounce and take a ride. You can see, there goes its tail. Tail just moves. like you're riding it. Do you have it in the music mode or not? This is dinosaur mode. Okay, still. put it in the other one. It is now in music mode. Okay, what? Uh, when you bounce this in music mode, you can now it now plays four songs. As you can see. And as you can see, his legs are spring loaded as she's riding the whole back spring. Your kids can also go on an adventure with Coda. And he does eat, like if he did have the leash with him. You, um, he chews and he burps. She's going to show you that. As long as you keep your hand in long enough. Very burps. Kind of cool. Now touch his horns. Okay, leave him alone. Back up. Now, after you leave him sit for a little while, I don't know exactly what the time frame is. He will go to sleep and snore. Um, so we're going to leave it be for a minute. Let me get my stopwatch. We're going to leave him be for a minute and we're going to see. There he's still blinking his eyes. And he wagged his tail. I can't get the tail and the head in at the same time here, but. I am willing to ship if I can find a box big enough, which it shouldn't be a huge issue. As you can see, he's dormant. Nobody's touched him. Um, but he does have sensors. Like if you pet his the top of his head, he'll react. If you scratch his chin, he reacts. He's turning his head now. And after a minute, he will snore. So we're going to wait for that so you can see it.
He's blinking now, waiting for some activity. You can see. He is motion activated when he goes No, I don't I don't know that for sure if he's motion activated, Jay. I don't think he is. I think that's just what he does. Probably. Takes a long while for him to snore, obviously. But he does, because it happened a little while ago. It's on 120 and counting. Maybe it happens like after two minutes or something. But we'll wait and shut off the video after he starts snoring. And then when he touches horns, you can now wake him back up. Or ride him. One fifty five and counting. Oh, there he goes. He went to sleep. At two minutes he stopped. And, and now he's gonna sleep. And he does that for just a little bit and then he completely stops. pretty cute. Looks like he might snore for maybe 15-20 seconds. And I'm assuming he shuts down now to save batteries, but he's still technically on with the switch, and if you touch him, then he wakes back up. And then he's interactive again. And that is Code of the Dinosaur by Play School. Uh-huh.